Welcome into the recap of the NBA MVP announcement today given to Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets for the second consecutive year. And I want to go through the list of every player in NBA history, it's not a long list, that has won back-to-back -back MVPs and see where Jokic fits. My name is David Kaplan. And thank you for tuning into our YouTube page. Please hit that subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. And Please make sure you post your comments. We would love your thoughts, whether you agree or disagree uh, with what you're about to hear. All right, let's go. First of all, Jokic wins for the second consecutive year. 2019 and 2020 went to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, if you told me I could pick one or the other, I probably would go, would go with Giannis, although Jokic's ability to pass the basketball, to actually be a ball handler at the size that he is, uh, where he's come from, the 41st pick in the NBA draft by the Denver Nuggets. Uh, highly impressive. If I had to pick one or the other, I'd probably go Giannis. Probably. But it'd be very, very close. Going back, the next guy to win two in a row was Steph Curry, 2014-15, with that amazing Golden State Warriors team. No. No. There is zero chance that I'm taking Nikola Jokic over that version of Steph Curry, stop yourself. you got to be out of your freaking mind. That guy, the greatest shooter in the history of the sport, and there is zero chance I'm taking Jokic over Curry. LeBron James, he did it twice with the Heat and with the Cavs, back-to-back -back MVPs. No, Jokic doesn't go ahead of LeBron. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. That, that's just a ridiculous comparison. Steve Nash, I'll give you that one. I watched a lot of that Steve Nash back in 04, 05 with the Phoenix Suns. Very, very talented player. Obviously an outstanding season, back-to-back -back years, MVP. But ahead of Jokic, no, I'll take Jokic. Absolutely 100%. I will take Nikola Jokic over Steve Nash. So Steve Nash will be at the bottom of this list. Timmy Duncan, 01 and 02 with the Spurs. He's a top 10 player in the history of the sport. He's the greatest power forward, perhaps, that ever played. A lot of the big guys on the list, Wilt and Kareem and Bill Russell, those guys all played low post center. This dude stepped out on the floor and banked shots. So, no, uh, I'm not putting Jokic ahead of Tim Duncan, one of the 10 greatest players in the history of the sport in my world. Michael Jordan, that's the GOAT. And stop with the LeBron's the GOAT. He's not. Kobe, no. Kareem, great player. No. By the way, there's Kareem. There's Magic. Thought it was a fitting backdrop for this video. Michael Jordan, five-time NBA MVP. Only went back-to-back -back once. Now, yes, he retired after the third title and then came back. But Michael Jordan should have won more than one back-to-back -back MVP. Guy's the freaking greatest player to ever lace him up in the history of the sport. Uh, he was also six-time finals MVP. But only time he did it in terms of regular season, 1990-91 with the Chicago Bulls, of course. Magic Johnson did it once, back-to-back -back in 88 and 89 with the Lakers. Uh, look, he's the greatest point guard in the history of the sport. I heard somebody the other day on NBA TV say that Bob Cousy should be on the list. Are you out of your freaking mind? My my guy, Mad Dog Chris Russo, said the same thing on ESPN. Bob Cousy? Stop. He couldn't compete athletically with today's players. And I hate comparing eras. Bob Cousy? You got to be an idiot if you think Bob Cousy belongs on there ahead of Magic freaking Johnson. Wow. And by the way, Magic Johnson... The portrayal in Winning Time is outstanding. That show is incredible. Winning Time on HBO of the making of the Showtime Lakers. You got to watch it. Isn't that Jerry West? Wow, what a character. Uh, Larry Bird won three in a row with the Celtics, 83, 84, and 85. Larry Legend, top six, top seven player of all time. If his back had not gone out on him, who knows where that dude would have ended up on the all-time list. His back got really bad on him and made it really, really tough at the end of his career. Moses Malone turned the trick. 81, then was traded to Philadelphia from Houston. Won his second with the Sixers. Uh, Moses Malone, a very, very good player, a dominant player. Nowhere near the top of this list. Uh, 
look, Steve Nash, bottom of the list. Jokic, not much higher. He's right there with Ante Tecumpo. Uh, Moses Malone is down at the bottom with those dudes. Kareem did it twice. 75-76 with the Lakers, and then 70-71 with the Bucks uh, before he was traded to L.A. My friend Kendall Gill says he's the greatest player in the history of the sport. I know he's been the leading scorer forever. LeBron will be you know, up there for the rest of my life. Nobody's going to pass him. I don't see it. Uh, Kareem was an amazing, amazing player with the most unstoppable shot in the history of the sport, the skyhook. If you haven't watched it and you're young and you're looking, you're going, really? Go on YouTube and watch that skyhook. Unguardable. Unstoppable. So Kareem's right near the top of the list here. Wilt Chamberlain, 65, 66, 67 with the Sixers. They changed the rules because of this dude. Wilt Chamberlain, a lot of people believe, is the most dominant basketball player. Dominant. Now, he didn't win a ton of titles. Wasn't always on the best teams. But he was literally an un immovable force in there. Unstoppable force. Wilt Chamberlain was amazing. He's somewhere in that top five of this list as well. And then Bill Russell, who had, I don't know, like a dozen Hall of Famers that he played with in his career. Made it easier for him. He was a great player. Great player. But I think Wilt was a better player than Bill Russell. So that's the way I would give it to you, Jokic. Down near the bottom of the list with Steve Nash, Moses Malone. Those would be the guys uh, that would be lower down on this list. That's my thoughts on the MVP. We call this the recap. Please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you watching the video. Tell your friends. Take that.